Hello, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Just sit myself down. No, you're all right. <laughs> well, my name's Margaret Gould. I'm 71. I live in the Mayflower Village at Rockdale. And I'm a social director, would you believe? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm Lincoln Poole, 45 years old. I'm not yeah. a baby yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like when I hear that. I work for Uniting Unifam. I coordinate all their gambling counselling services for them. You like your job too, don't you? I love my job. Yeah, that's good. What's one thing you really like about yourself and why? <sighs> I think my sense of humour. That's important. It is. It is. It Knowing is. how to laugh is really important. I like myself more now I'm older and I think the fact that I'm able to help people, that yeah, means good, a lot to me. What's the most embarrassing moment in your life? Well, making an absolute fool of myself at our functions, I think. My friend and I are going through our second child and <laughs> really enjoying it, so I think that's pretty embarrassing. Really embarrassing? This sounds like fun. But we have fun, definitely, <laughs> so that's good. So I don't mind being embarrassed about that. I don't mind being embarrassed sometimes either. I'm sort of getting to that age where it doesn't worry me. You know, I've got four children, early 20s, older teenagers. Difficult ages, really. I'm actually a uh, single dad, so. Oh. Yes, so I'm fully responsible for all the kids. Are you very close to your children? Yeah, we're really close. My kids actually still want to hang out with me. Um, That's you know. wonderful. Did you have a happy childhood? Parts of it were. Well, at 13, um, I actually started drinking. That uh, must have been rough. It was. I had a friend introduce me to um, alcohol one night and I just found it made everything better. What so, made you stop? I was 24 years old and I just couldn't see any future. So I made a decision that that was that. I was going into the kitchen to grab a knife. The phone rang. We had an answering machine and it was a friend that I used to drink with. He'd contacted me 12 months earlier to say that he'd stopped drinking. So as soon as I heard his voice, I picked up the phone. He asked me what I was doing and I told him. He and saved your life, didn't you really, basically? Yeah. Um, luckily, he lived around the corner, so he was he was at my place. And we sat and talked. After a couple of hours, he just said that he was going to a meeting where there were recovering alcoholics, and he asked me if I wanted to go. Um, and I said, yeah. So I actually haven't had a drink in 21 years. It's a long time, isn't it? It is. Yeah. My childhood, I think, was fairly difficult. I'm a widow and I've lost my only son. And uh, my aunt lives in the village and she is also a widow. She lost her only daughter, my cousin, and we're the last of the family left. We've had yes. a lot of losses. Yes, but we have each other, so yeah. I'm very lucky to have Auntie Bev. Everybody should have an Auntie Bev. She's wonderful. <laughs> it sounds like it. That's why I moved into the village because she'd been there 22 years. Okay. And I moved in just over six years ago. My neurologist said he wished more people would do it because I'm, I'm very ill. I have a terminal neurological disease, which is quite rare. And I was told I wouldn't live past 70 and I'm 71. Wow. I've had a good run, but my health is deteriorating now and I, I needed to go somewhere where I knew I would be safe and I'm very happy there. I think most people are because it's a very happy village and that makes a difference. I found that dying has been very liberating for me. It's changed me in a lot of ways. Really? How's that? Yes, I've got rid of a lot of baggage yeah. and I just enjoy life. I get up every day and I think, oh, I've got another day and I really enjoy it. And I'm also donating my brain. It's going to Professor Lewis's team at RPA. And if it helps somebody, that's very important to me. Yeah. If you could give one piece of advice to your younger self, what would it be? I think the losses in my life have affected me. Um, in some ways, they've helped me because they've helped me grow as a person and helped me be stronger. That definitely makes a difference. So. You definitely be strong. Okay, if you could give one piece of advice to your younger self, what would it be? Don't be afraid to take chances. Oh yes, I like that one. Think through the consequences, but take mm. the challenges anyway. Well, it's all about getting wisdom, isn't it? Oh, right. yeah. always. Yeah.